How to dog sit when you have a cat. Often as a gesture of courtesy, individuals may volunteer or are asked to pet sit for their friends, co-workers, or relatives when the individual is leaving town. If you already own a cat and are asked to pet sit a dog for any length of time, you may be concerned about the potentially tense relations between the two animals. Before you bring the dog into your home, check with its owner and make sure it doesn't have a history of aggression with cats. From there, you'll need to introduce the dog to your cat and make sure that your cat has a dog-free place to spend time and sleep. One introducing the dog to your cat. Asterisk bring the dog to your cat. When your cat and the dog your pet sitting meet in your living space, it's important that it's in a controlled environment. Bring the dog in on a leash so it can't chase the cat and slowly walk it towards your cat. Let the two animals slowly examine each other. Don't rush interactions between them. Asterisk give the animals time to acclimate. Especially if either animal is not accustomed to being around different species, it may take them some time to feel comfortable around each other. Assuming that all interactions are peaceful, no barking, biting, hissing or scratching, you can leave the animals alone to grow used to each other's presence and smells. Asterisk watch the animal's body language. When a dog and cat are meeting for the first time, their body language can indicate how well they'll get along. Your cat will show anger or fear by laying its ears flat back against its head and swishing its tail or puffing up its fur. If your cat exhibits this behavior, remove the dog from the room. Try to introduce them again later once they've both calmed down. Asterisk ask you can watch the dog at their house if things don't work out. If your cat and the visiting dog aren't getting along, it may be best to reconsider your plans. Let the dog's owner know that things aren't going well between the animals and ask if you can pet sit the dog at their house instead. Offer to spend the night and visit multiple times throughout the day. That way you won't have to deal with the stress of keeping the dog and your cat separated. 2. Giving your cat safe space. Asterisk make a room off limits to the dog. Even if your cat and the dog your pet sitting get along reasonably well, your cat will still need a separate space away from the dog where it can retreat and eat, nap, and spend time alone. Cats generally have less social energy than dogs and will be less interested in constantly playing. Set your cat's fooder and toys in a room that you can keep the dog out of. Asterisk give your cat an emergency exit in case it feels stressed. If you're keeping your cat and the dog in the same room, it's important that your cat has somewhere it can escape to where the dog can't get to it. Set up a tall cat tree that the dog can't reach or a piece of furniture that your cat can hide under. Your cat will feel more comfortable if it knows it has somewhere to hide. Asterisk keep your cat's routine consistent. Bringing a new dog into your cat's life even temporarily will seriously disrupt its daily routine, so you should try to be as consistent as possible with your behavior around the cat. Feed it at the times you usually do and make sure to give your cat the same amount of attention that you normally do, if not more. Asterisk restrain or distract an aggressive dog. If the dog you're watching starts to growl or snap at the cat, you may need to keep the animals separate. Since your cat is likely used to having freedom to roam the house, you don't need to infringe on that freedom. Try shutting the dog outdoors. If the weather is warm, or shut the dog in a large room with food and water so your cat can move through the rest of the house. Asterisk address severe problems between the animals. In some instances of dog sitting, the dog may never feel comfortable around your cat and may continually try to chase, attack, or kill the cat. The dog's predatory instinct will be especially triggered if your cat frequently runs away from it. A. Keep the cat and dog separate in your house or apartment. Shut the dog in the backyard or another large space, such as a living room, and keep your cat secluded in your bedroom or another small room. Asterisk return your cat to a normal schedule after the dog leaves. Even if the dog and your cat got along reasonably well or were kept apart from one another, the dog's presence probably disrupted your cat's typical schedule. To help your cat feel comfortable and back to normal after the dog goes home, 
return it to the feeding and play time schedule that you kept before house sitting the dog. 3. Taking care of the dog. Asterisk familiarize the dog with your house. Asterisk maintain the dog's normal routines. Asterisk give the dog plenty of exercise. Asterisk groom the dog as often as necessary. Asterisk ask about special needs for the dog. Asterisk be extra cautious with dogs that have a high prey drive.